Well, hello everyone. Happy New Year. Welcome back to the therapy room. Um, I've been getting a few ideas going up, but uh, today I got asked a question from one of the subscribers off the, off the group asking about LED lights. So, I thought, that's a nice wee chance here because uh, we ain't come up with a good idea for the big roof lights and uh, just to show that how easy it is, I says, right, I'll do a quick video on what I've done here with the small lights. So, without further ado, I'll show you the ones where I've just, all I've done is change the bulbs. Right, so as you can see, these are your usual 12 volt ones, and basically all you do is you pop out, and what I've got is, I've got these uh, two pins here, oh, hang on, if I can find the camera, right, there you go. So that's the type that's in mine. Now there is different types of these, and this is actually the LED light I've replaced it with, right? So, uh, as you see, it's just the usual, and they're actually at Tesco's. They are a uh, 2.6 watt, 2700K GU4, okay? So, as you can see there, there's a... Uh, you probably don't get the focus in, to be honest with you, but... Hey, uh, I'm doing what I can. So, right, so here's how simple it is. You just take your bulb and clip it in. You get the said clip for the retaining, and you carefully install it up. Then you put the retaining clip in, which could be a bit fiddly if your hands are cold like I'm out here. As you can see, uh, I'll tell you what would help. It would help if you put the thing the right way around. <laughs> and oh, for the love of God! Uh, there you go. Look at that. How simple was that? Bulb in, douche, and we have light. No, so. It's actually quite cold in here. I've not even been out and prepared this. I've no, I've not got my, my heater on or nothing in here. So, I buttoned up the hatches. It's not cold up here. Even the, the penguins have put a jumper on today. So, and I've seen a couple of brass monkeys out jogging. So, hey, all in all, not a bad day. Now, the next one is the bathroom. So, again, um, I've done this earlier on last year because. Uh, my light actually popped, believe it or not. So, um, because of the bulbs, the one thing with LED bulbs is they don't heat up. Okay, that's one of the good points with LED bulbs. Um, and and secondly, well, they don't drain so much on your battery. So if you're doing a lot of off-grid stuff, well, there you go, man. It's uh, your batteries will last a lot, lot longer. So, into the bathroom, lobby, toilet, whatever. Right, so what I've done is, I've took this one out, okay, so there you go, I'm letting you see if I can find it, there it is, right, and there's the hole to the roof, if I can get the camera to move, <laughs> no very good with this camera, I need a camera woman, man, person, right, so there's the hole, right, there, there it is, right, there's the hole, and as you can see, there's the light dangly do for you. Alright. So now I need to get this set up for to show you how hard this is. Right, so here we go. So as you can see, it's hanging down here. Right, that's it. Um, the wires are joined in for the original wires, but the first problem I had was you'll see that there's two white wires here. Now, there's only two wires going in LED light. Basically one's a positive. Another one's a negative, neutral, whatever you call it. I'm not an electrician, so if you want the correct terms, speak to a sparky. Uh, and all I've done is, when I joined them up, this didn't work. Right? So, I wondered what I'd done wrong, and after a wee bit of check, and I found out that you can't reverse the polarity in these, so the live has to go to the live, and the neutral has to go to the neutral. So, all I done was I took the wires out, turned them around, and this happened. I can find the switch. 
there you go. So, as you can see, all good to go. Now, so, once you've got your wires all secured, right, and fitted in properly, right, you then tuck them up nicely into the cavity. And then, once you've got that done, just to line it up, and bearing in mind, this is exactly the same hole that I took the other one out of, and that's it. Turn the wheat thing, and that's it. And it's as simple as that. And look at the difference of the brightness in the bathroom now. It is absolutely lovely. I love the bright whites on the LEDs, but when I'm in the lounge area, I love the warm white because they're no so sore on the ice. So, that's it. So as you can see, um, in typical Laurel and Hardy style, uh, again, I've managed to make something so easy so hard <laughs> but nah, in all seriousness um, the changing of the bulbs uh, uh, they're, they're very 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 easy there's there's no really nothing to it take your time that's all you gotta do just take your time now I'm no professional I'm not an electrician I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none right so the main thing is is when you're messing around with lights even at 12 volt just to be on the safe side make sure you isolate your battery first so just pop off the negative wire and go and do your electrical work and then stick it back on again and as long as your joints are all okay hey you shouldn't have any problem all right now uh i'm also contemplating with the idea that I, I, I would i would love to hear below on this one i'm thinking about doing uh, a weekly live chat where you can come in with questions um, you could come in with suggestions and uh, I really would love to get to the bottom of the hot topic that's bubbling away just now which is shall I fit a fish tank or a dishwasher or a washing machine <laughs> you tell me <laughs> you tell me if I need it I'll do it okay so if you like this please I would love you to give us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel, hey, welcome. But please subscribe. I would love to hear your thoughts as well. And if you'd uh, if you want to do a live session, hey, just let us know in the comments below, and uh, I'm sure I can set something up. I'll put a notification out an hour before I'm due to go live, because I'll have to go and figure out how to do that as well. Okay, so again, have a nice 2021. All the best, and I'll see you on the next one.